Good morning. We are walking around. You might hear something in the background. What's up behind me? That is Alani at Disney Resort. We'll turn, we'll turn. We're at the ocean. It is morning. It is 6 a.m. here, I believe. And we're out in the ocean. It has been a beautiful morning, a great first day yesterday. A little, a couple of hiccups, but a great day here in Alani and just kind of enjoying. There is people up and out and about, but it is beautiful here so far. Sunrise still kind of happening, got great colors in the background. The water is warm as I'm just letting it go over my feet down here. My feet are there somewhere. Uh, and there's the resort. There's my feet in the sand. It is just beautiful out here. There's a couple people just sitting in, on the beach chairs, drinking their coffee. There was a couple gentlemen on computers over by the pools, just maybe doing work, who knows, but it's so beautiful. It is our first morning in Hawaii. Again, we're in Oahu, on the island of Oahu. At Alani and Disney Resort, just enjoying and having a great time. Jackson seems to be finding fish. Okay, you keep pointing him out. We'll see if we can find him. Where'd he go? Is he still right there? Oh, there are little fish, aren't there? All right, so time is currently 6.30 in the morning. And we're sitting at the pool. There's plenty of chairs still open. But people are starting to show up. People are starting to pick out their chairs and claim their chairs. A lot of people just reading books and hanging out. You know, if you're from the east coast it's really early here you know, plus four hours to colorado so we're still adjusting we'll see how long it takes us to get on the time but probably as soon as we figure out what time it is it'll be time to head back home but 6 30 in the morning plenty of cheers mama's snack shop where you can get the fish shrimp and chicken i think that might be lunch today aloha aloha too buddy why did I bow down like I was in the Shaved ice. There is the... <gasps> There's actual fish! Come on! Oh, should we go over and look at the <gasps> snorkel again? Look at these fish in here. We'll be swimming with these fish later today. Whoa! Wow, there's a lot of beautiful fish in there. Here, let me tell you the... The <laughs> Let's not try to pronounce all the fish. That might be very interesting. Oh wow, look at these big guys.
All right, we are at McDonald's. The dining area is closed. You can go in for take-in, so I'm going to try to go in, but we're in the drive-thru right now because they've got the Portuguese sausage and egg rice platter, Spam egg and rice platter, Portuguese sausage eggs and rice platter, local deluxe, cool different uh, items in the aisle. All right, so I think we made everybody in the line upset because by the time we are done ordering, there was a line around the building. We're complete jerks. So here is the platter. So this is the Spam and the Portuguese sausage, eggs and rice. We'll see what else we got going on. We're all just kind of eating in the cars. So. You got a slushie? You got a slushie? <laughs> all right, so grandma got the Portuguese sausage platter over there. And then I've got a sausage and McGriddle with Portuguese sausage. So let's see how all this tastes. And Jen did note, they got our complete order right. Even though we gave them so many weird combinations, they gave us our order in the correct way. Rice better than I make. Wow. Okay, so we had McDonald's Hawaiian breakfast. Okay. I will say the Portuguese sausage breakfast uh, McGriddle was really good. All right, so Jen, what do you think of the platter? Uh, it was really good. Um, I probably wouldn't get the spam again, but... Um, the Portuguese sausage was good, the eggs was good, um, and the rice, um, it, it was good Asian sticky rice, like rice I would make at home, it wasn't like a thin Uncle Ben's type thing. Got it. And we do have, we've got one extra pie, what was the pie? H-A-U-P-I-A, it was coconut, um, and that was, I love coconut, it's my one of my favorite flavors, but I did not enjoy it because coconut should not be hot, and so it was like eating warm sunscreen. So I didn't hate it, but I, I didn't enjoy it either. So <laughs> and the, so everyone, what everyone think? Everyone like it? Yeah, it was different. Good. Very good. <coughs> different. So we're just all hanging out in the car. Jesse's over there. Hi, Jesse. The boys are back there. So nice little breakfast at McDonald's. Completely random Hawaii McDonald's special menu. You know, I'm sure we're going to be back at McDonald's again just because it's McDonald's. I don't know if there's anything we'll do a second time, but nice. We're about, we're looking at the, well, through the trees, the swamp meet. So we're about to go to uh, Oahu Stadium swamp meet. And we'll head over there. We are at the swamp meet. We are heading over to the sign to take pictures. Beautiful day. Parking was weird. We like drove around the entire stadium to get to the one parking lot. It was really weird. So maybe that's why they tell you to go in a different entrance, but it seemed like there was only one entrance open. It's been lightly raining uh, off and on this morning, which is kind of nice. It's about 81 degrees and beautiful right now. Yeah, it feels like mist. Yeah, it is like we're walking through a mister. So, looks like there's a bunch of stuff set up. So, we're really excited to see what we have here at the Aloha Stadium swap meet. It is on a Wednesday. All right, one thing we wanted to note of quick, we haven't even got inside yet, but as we're driving around, there's a bunch of cash ATM machines available. So, that's Kind of nice, but we weren't sure if it's going to be cash or charge or what it's going to be. So we're walking over to the Aloha Stadium sign to take a picture, I believe. All right, Aloha Stadium. Very cool. I love these flowers. It's beautiful. All right, so we're now walking into the merchandise area. My mom is actually using a walker right now. Just kind of help out, make sure she can kind of keep up. And we love the fact that it has a seat so she can sit down anywhere we're at. This makes life a lot easier, but she was noticing the uh, coming in uneven payment was a little rocky for her. So she was like, I gotta make sure you know that it's a little uneven for wheelchairs and walkers. This area is a little rocky, so, but still better than nothing. And now we start walking around looking at the shops. We've already pulled some bangs. What do you think mama would like? We got the last refrigerator magnet photo holder. We went ahead and grabbed that too. So that's a cool little item. Again, we're in the first booth. So is that the cardinal mistake to buy everything at the first booth? 
Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you shop at the first booth you go to or you wait and do a lap and then purchase? All right, we're at the phone socket pop grip. Got a Minecraft one for Jack with a concept. So many cool things. We've only been to two booths so far. Uh, mask update. Masks are kind of half and half. Some people have them on, some people have them below the chin, some people don't uh, have them at all. So everyone's just kind of in the middle of everything. Just completely fine, we're outdoors. But only when you get into a booth that there's a bunch of people that we want to put it on. So you just purchased a couple things? Yes, so I got a fan and then a bookmark. And that's a uh, natural photograph bookmark. Really nice. It was two dollars or three for five. Oh, so we got a couple more items, but we're now at a shirt shop. And being the big guy that I am, I always like to point these out. So here is shirts up to five X. Thank you for including us, big guys. And then other sizes, but up to five X. Sweet. Found our personalization. We like to get one on each trip, so we are getting a personalized surfboard. Maybe that white one right back over there. We've got two embellishments we're putting on it. Here's some examples that they have. Very cool. We'll show you the. So with customization, with family and year, it was forty-five dollars. So. A good price for you know personalization. She's down here writing on them right now. You know, doing the calligraphy, writing on it. So you know, back there in the shade, writing them all right here. They said it'd be about half an hour to 45 minutes. So very cool. So found the deal of the day: four X T-shirts, four for 20, four for 20 for four X. Um, there's three X, seven for 20. So if you want to go with the 3X, 7 for 20, I got one in 3X, maybe I'll grow into it. But really good shirt shop. So we got probably 13 shirts and a hoodie for about 60 bucks here at the big sale t-shirt. Awesome deal, great designs. Looks like good quality, very happy. Good stop for us. I think we are on our way out. It is hot. It is now 10.47. And I don't think we made it halfway around. I think we uh, were giving up at halfway, uh, heading back, so. Back well, that t-shirt was hot and heavy and quick and wow. We even had to go back because we had one extra shirt we forgot to pay for. So went back and paid for that one on top of it. But a lot of good shirts for good price. So definitely I think that made the trip worth it. Now we're gonna go find some water and cool down. Maybe a couple more pictures on the way out. But we're getting out of here. Good day on a Wednesday at the swap meet. Yeah. Tropical fresh. Uh, yeah. We got some mango for $5. Pretty big bag. It was really good. Bottled water. Like Had to get some water. Well, we are back in the AC. It is hot. It says 81 degrees outside. I don't believe it. Uh, it yeah, I, my neck hurts because I think it's burnt tired but in the ac got everything we wanted oh my goodness a lot a lot a lot of stuff and some good prices i mean real good prices for what we got so we're going to call that an end to the aloha swap meet and i think at this point we're heading to daiso check that out spend more money <laughs> all right we took uh, directions and got lost a couple times we ended up on the back side of this building but we found it so we are i don't know it's a little shopping district there's a chuck e cheese in here there's daiso and a long's drugs which we didn't know was still open we saw a texaco gas station now yeah, there's a texaco over there didn't know texacos were still running yeah it's a nice little shopping area but we are heading into daiso excited for this one city shopping center that makes a lot more sense for what we we're seeing so Pearl City Shopping Center is where we're actually at for the Daiso
And again, Daiso. Everything a dollar fifty and less mark. All right, we are inside Daiso. Love it. Love them sign. Camera, okay. Take and share Facebook and Twitter. We will share on Facebook and Twitter. I absolutely love Daiso. You never know what you're gonna find. Mini paw fan. You never know what you're gonna find. Getting Daiso, so much cool stuff. Oh, here's a kitty fan. Oh, it's a manual kitty fan. That is awesome. It's a Rapunzel laundry bag. Box curtain. All the Disney stuff. What is, oh, it's a rice mold. That's adorable. A Mickey Mouse rice bowl. Rice mold. Rice mold, I said bowl. Sausage cutter. Oh, look cutter. at this, you can punch out um, seaweed. Oh, nice. What are these? Sauce containers. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, Sauce I need container. those. <laughs> Sausage There's cutter. Wooden spoon. Where's our wooden spoon? Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you eat this with? Rice porridge spoon. Okay. Bag, Bag hanger. I've got one of those. Disposable face mask case. Oh, look at these. What? I don't know what I put in them, but I want them. Okay. Because <laughs> it's got Mickey on it. She's got to get it. Excuse me. Oh, you want to bring home a set of plates? I don't think those would travel well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so much fun stuff. Come all the way to Hawaii to go to Daiso, huh? Kitchen sponges. Okay. Oops. Oh, Daiso is awesome for Disney fans. Getting pearl sip for your toothpaste. Did you find something you wanted, buddy? Yeah, the Oh, a panda toothbrush holder. That's cute. That is cute. I would get that for you. Oh. Pettit blocks. So these look like little like Lego people. This is so cool. We strive to work with us, providing a safe environment for your lawn on ours. Please, continue to wear a face mask, ensuring your nose and mouth are... Erasers, I love these pandas. They're so cute. So much fun stuff. Oh, little food, miniature food. Japanese sponge cake stall. So like a 3D puzzle, I guess. Oh my goodness. That is awesome. Back in the dog section. Fishing line. Bobbers. Cat toys, waste bags,
bag hangers. So many fun things. Compass. Every style and size of carabiner hook you need. We've got the clothespin hangers, but they also have just regular clothespins. I said regular. Disney clothespins. Cookie punch molds. Ooh, an egg shelling tool. Sushi rolling mat. Lid for your bowl. So much fun, random stuff. Ooh. Mickey ice cube dress. We've entered the food section. Lots of fun food. Just add hot water. Oh, some cinema popcorn. How many cute things? I think my daughter has a problem. This is why they should never put a Daiso in Colorado. <laughs> We're spending a lot of money. <laughs> Well, I think I've walked up and down every aisle. I don't have anything in my hands yet, so maybe I should purchase something. Let's see what I can find at Daiso. And disposable face mask cases. And a face mask buckle. Ear saver basically is what those are. Humidifier. Oh, is that a humidifier? <laughs> To you. All right, like I can't see what I'm recording, but here is the bags. And of course, there's a Mickey one. No, I don't want that one. That's what we keep. All right, well, that is a wrap from Daiso. Crazy stuff, we in and out. Found a lot of Disney merchandise, a lot of fun items. Parking is a little strange. Uh, not a whole lot of parking spots, but we were able to get in, so. Now at Zippy's. We're at Zippy's, which got a very large menu, and I think most of the kids end up getting chicken nuggets. So um, we got a lot of different food, but yeah, it's a piece of nice little place. We checked in with the QR code. We did about half an hour, but when we have a party of 11, that's not bad. But I wanted to try something a little bit different. So we're at Zippy's. We'll see how this goes. All right, well, I think most of it was a success. Most of our plates are empty. The onion rings were really good. We actually had to order a uh, thing of onion rings for the adults table. The kimchi fried rice was just okay. It wasn't great. Jen had the, what do you have, Beth? I had the Korean fried chicken salad. And it's good, but I'm not a fan of it because I think it's um, thigh meat, and I'm not a fan of 
chicken thigh meat. The kids' table is completely empty. Everything got devoured down there. There was a bunch of uh, grilled cheeses. Yeah, well, what else do you guys have down there? Chicken nuggets. How were the chicken nuggets? Uh, really good. They were really crunchy. There was chicken nuggets, grilled cheese, and one salad down there. Oh, a salad. So, again, good food, good service. They've been taking care of us. The drink service has been really good. Um, really friendly service. So, good, good, good little place. So, we're we're happy with this choice and. Uh, I think it's finally time to go ahead to the resort. We got a text during uh, dinner that said, or lunch that said the room was ready, so we're gonna go check into our new room and start all over from there. It's just Korean fried chicken. All right, so we finished up with some Napoleon Bakery donuts. We got the donut holes. They were so good. Great way to finish a nice dinner. There's some great options in here. Look at this. That cake is huge and fluffy. Wonderful. Starting the room tour of our dedicated two bedroom. So as soon as you walk in the front door, got the full kitchen and a dining room table and chairs. And then in the living room, this is a queen pullout. Let's see here. I think we have two balconies here. Oh, I can't get through the curtains. So same view we had yesterday. There's a sleeper sofa right there. It's... So then coming in here to the right, this is the master. So this is a king size bed. Lots of room in here for luggage and to spread out. And then we have another balcony over here. Nice desk. Put all my stuff down here. And continuing on over here. So you can close these into the bathroom if you'd like. Right in here, huge shower. Big sink, lots of counter space, and then of course the jetted tub. Inside here we have the bathroom, or excuse me, the toilet. Big closet in here. And then across the way, go into the second bedroom. Oh, here's a closet on the way with a safe. This room has two queens. And a desk, another television. And then come this way, another small closet. And then here is the bathroom. So but this bathroom looks exactly like the bathroom did in our studio. And finally, we have one more half bath in the front. So sorry, I'm just gonna Take you back with me here and here's the half bath in the front so there's no shower but it's got a sink and a toilet so there's two and a half total bathrooms here and I believe this is the washer and dryer yep all right so we are all checked into the room we should have just done the room tour for the two bedroom we are now in swimsuits and heading to the pool Hopping in. Hello. Finally made it onto the, into the lazy the river. Are Wait, we hi. Batman territory. Not Batman. Hi, Grandma. Are you just you walking around? Yeah, you just kind of let it take you if you can. See now it's my phone back in the back off. Oh, 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 o
So this lazy river is very lazy, but not much river. I don't know if it's just because it's almost closing time, but it doesn't feel like we're moving very fast or very far. See, here's all these plants with yellow leaves. They must just like have random ones that lose there. That was funny because it just looked like bananas. Oh, my feet are killing me. All right, we were able to do one lap before they closed, and they literally put it a bar up at the exit, so you couldn't go any further. I'm like, no, nah, it's not closed. It's a limbo competition. How low can you go? Why not? Nah, they wouldn't let you go by. So we're now going to head over to the Infinity Pool. Infinity Hot Tub, I believe. All right, we're down in the infinity hot sub it is back to adults only there's signs saying 18 and over very nice down here i almost wish it was a cold tub though because this hot tub is a little hot there's an area that i didn't know about so there's kids in this one it's a little rougher there's people being thrown everywhere but it's not cold after being in a hot tub it's actually kind of nice there's a lot of people over here but I'm trying to work my way over. I just probably messed up the thing. Work my way over to the edge to see what we can see over here. You know, it gets a little bit deeper over here, but not that deep. But trying to see if there's a place for me to go up over on the side. I think me and somebody else are aiming for the same spot. Yep. Let's see if I can get to this spot over here. Now, right. oh, there we go. Oh, look at that view. That is the view from the pool. Wow. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. So here we go. Look at that. That is nice. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is amazing, absolutely amazing. We're about to be attacked by a daughter, I believe. Nope. Oh, I thought it was my daughter coming by. Nope, not yours. I had to call Jazz over. What? It's a video. <laughs> I'm in Hawaii having a blast with my son and his family. Yeah. All right, walking down to the beach to get the rest of the kids. And it's almost sunset. So we got some beautiful colors again coming in. Look at those colors, it's amazing. So beautiful out here. That is it for day two 
What an amazing day. We're starting our day with a Hawaiian style breakfast at McDonald's. Spam Portuguese sausage and rice at McDonald's. Crazy experience, but had to have it. The uh, McGriddle with the Portuguese sausage, my favorite. The uh, coconut pie, you know, we'll leave that one there. Uh, and then heading over to the swap meet. Dollar a person to get in. We didn't even worry about the kids. We just paid the dollar for everyone to get in. Fun time and lots of fun stuff there. Daiso, the Japanese dollar fifty store. So much fun. So many cool little items. And just had a really good time there. And then lunch at Zippy's. A nice good lunch. And then ending the day with family time at the pool. Just enjoying the lazy river, hanging out with all of our family and friends that were there. Again, 22 of us on this trip. So just an amazing time. Once we were done with that pool, it was time for bed. We were tired. It was a long second day, but we were calling it an end to day two. Day three more adventures coming up. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now for us, it's back to the rat racing.